can many, many things, and some of them are even justifiable. Many things. Do you know, let me say this, do you know the way some of us treat our phone, these phones, these phones, do you know the way some of us treat our phones? If we treated Jesus like our phones, we would be saved. You know what you do when you wake up? First thing, not even, Lord, thank you. first thing, grab my phone. That's your first thing. Going to the bathroom, you got your phone. Going to the toilet, you got your phone. Why? You don't even move out of the house without your phone. But how are we with Jesus? Do we say, Lord, I'm leaving the house. Would you come with me? We, we don't treat, you, you have more, you, have, you treat your phone more precious than you treat Jesus. And yet we think we're going to get saved. Your, our phones have almost become a part of our anatomy. Like a hand, you can't go nowhere. But why a man would come to church, he relies his phones at home, he'll go all the way back for his phone. Friends, we can't be saying we're preparing for a crisis and there's other things in our lives before Jesus. Before we even touch that phone, we should be speaking with the Lord. Lord, thank you for a new day. Thank you, Lord. But first thing, who texts me while I was sleeping? First, we, we don't even want, no, not even, the, the Lord, Lord do, you have a, do you have a word for me this morning? First thing, who texts me? And then we say, no, I've got no idols in my life. No, you do have idols. You do have idols. And as long as we are cherishing these idols, we are not going into the promised land. No way. 